Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us for the uh, first Taylor Tuesday of 2021. Uh, 2020 was a, was, a, was a tough time for everybody. I think we all um, had different challenges in life that we had to go through. And when we started doing this, and Mike and I have been moderating the majority of these programs for probably since March. And yeah. our goal was to try and you know give back to the profession, help people um, survive um, this um, difficult time in life. I never thought that I would live through two uh, life-altering events in my lifetime, 9-11 and COVID. It's kind of crazy to think about that. Um, uh, really blessed to start the new year out with um, uh, uh, a, a company that um, excited me when I first met them because of the importance that they place on education. But more importantly, other than the company, is um, we have three past APMA presidents here on this phone call today. And I'm I'm exceptionally honored to uh, um, have uh, Mike King, my, my sidekick and my mentor, and Dave Edwards, who followed right behind me on the board. And um, uh, we, we, we've all um, uh, done our share to give back to the profession. And that's kind of what we're trying to do with these lectures from Taylor, um, is give back a little bit to the profession. So uh, I am going to introduce the people that we have on the on the on the um program. So we have Dr. Dave Edwards and uh, Dave is, uh, I think he's from Utah. I, I, I can't remember. I, I, I don't remember. Is it, uh, it's Utah State University, isn't it, Dave? Go Aggies. Uh, yep. And uh, Dave went to the uh, California College of Podiatric Medicine and graduated in uh, 1986. And um, he's practiced in uh, Logan, Utah for a little over 30 years. Uh, was with an orthopedic group and was actually president of the group. Um, he's board certified, member of ACFAS, member of ASPS, as, has achieved the pinnacle of every level of um, stewardship and service that he could do locally, state, and nationally. And um, he was a, he's a member of the American Diabetes Association. And he and his wife, Rexanne, uh, have three beautiful children, and he's a grandfather. And um, with us, we also have... Kevin, I hope I do this right, Goldbranson, and he is the senior marketing manager with Weave Communications. Um, his background and his emphasis is on working with the medical community, and he primarily focuses on the podiatric profession. Um, he's worked in the industry for a number of years and came on board with Weave and is trying to help podiatric practices become more efficient uh, with the technology that Weave has to offer. So I am going to uh, turn the program over to my buddy, Mike. I am going to sign off. And uh, David and Kevin, I'll see you afterwards. I do want to tell everybody, please, if you have questions, type them in the chat box and um, we'll get to them. We, Dave, Dave, will, Dave is very good at answering questions. So Mikey, it's all yours. Super. So everybody, welcome back to Taylor Tuesday. We're excited to be in 2020, as I was related to, and uh, very thankful to Weave uh, for uh, being a, a partner and for our good friend Dave Edwards, uh, a, a co-past president, as Ira noted, being with us today. So I think you'll you'll really enjoy. David has always been uh, extremely uh, successful and uh, powerful at communication. Uh, mm -hmm which I think is, so you'll you'll find there's some great great tips here tonight. So let's remind you before we go, and I'm gonna have to jump off regretfully for yet another webinar, but um, I wanna remind you all that uh, please go to the Taylor website, taylormedical.com. And uh, if you have not uh, worked out uh, your list of supplies and the costs and uh, figured out how to save yourself a substantial amount of money, please go to the website. And those of you who are, hear me say this all the time, I'm sorry, but I want to remind you to remind your friends to go to taylormedical.com and just put in your information. And when you want to, by the way, if you want to go back and look at any of the webinars that we've been doing since the onset, you can find them on this first uh, web page at the top right. You notice the two little red arrows there. But let's, um, you know, take the time to uh, put together your supply list, send them over to Carla and her team. And uh, we need your vendors and your item descriptions and SKUs if you have them and units of measure, the pricing, the things that you want to get, send them over to uh, admin at taylormedical.com 
and let Taylor Medical save you uh, a boatload of money. Uh, so uh, that's all I'm going to say tonight. Uh, we have a lot of great information uh, here from Dr. Edwards. So, uh, Dave, it's just a, a treat to have you here. Uh, we're going to disappear, and um, it's good seeing you. Best to the family. Thanks and, so much. Um, take it away, my friend. Mike, thanks for that introduction. Ira, great to be with you. It's uh, wonderful being in such great company tonight uh, with uh, three past presidents. It's it's uh, wonderful to be with you. Congrats on Taylor's success, and, and I love what you're doing in, in this era trying to uh, – give back to the profession. It's been such a strange time when we've been held apart so long being used to gathering and at, uh, at convention halls and in state and regional meetings and to be separated. So this is interesting new territory we're in, but uh, I'm excited for the chance to talk about some things to help grow and strengthen your practice. And there's many things that uh, can do that great tools that exist there, but tonight using that uh, notion of communications uh, that, that uh, I think will really, share with you something that's that's benefited me in my practice um, in, in exposing these tools. Um, one of the things that's been said is things may come to those who wait, but the reality, it's only those things that are left by those who hustle. And that's really one of the critical things. That's what sets you apart who are on this call tonight. People are interested in hustling and learning more about your practice and how you be more successful, what you can do that uh, makes a difference in setting you apart and I really like to go after what I call the triple win, because if you put patient care first in everything you do, everything else follows and takes care of itself. As the patients are taken care of, you have a happy, productive practice and it takes care of you. And so it's great to see those things. Now, I don't know if any of you have uh, seen one of these in real life before. Possibly your parents had some of these if you're old enough like me, or it might really have to be grandparents depending on your demographics. But uh, that was what used to be a source of information. But today, online searches is the new source of information. Um, uh, matter of fact, uh, many of us have met Dr. Google before. Um, sometimes we're even graced with the opportunity to give a second opinion after Dr. Google has rendered his opinion. But that's certainly a, a part of our reality where information is found. Uh, another picture, don't know uh, if you recognize these, but uh, they've certainly been replaced by search engines. And if you don't know what a search engine are, I'm surprised you're even on this call. But it, it's it's really critical as we talk about how important this is going to be in our lives. Now, here's another one that you maybe haven't seen. And if you want to have some fun, uh, look up on YouTube a video about teenagers dialing a rotary dial telephone. It's hilarious. Uh, they're, they're given a, a phone number to dial and a certain amount of time to try and dial it. It was pretty comical. But certainly uh, technology has taken us to a different era, so much improvement in, in systems. One of the areas that I'll talk about a little bit tonight, though, is uh, voice over IP, voice over Internet protocol, phones that are no longer having to be connected to the landline, but allow you to have increased tremendous capacity and ability to integrate with your electronic health records. Uh, so a lot of technologies that are out there in the communication world now. Uh, PM Magazine did a did a, a little poll, and it was interesting to see where people were at with traditional landline. And I was intrigued to see almost 27% uh, that were expressing the use of voice over IP. And from that standpoint, uh, uh, if you look at what's really, I think, going to become a real growing trend, and if you want to be one of those who hustle to stay ahead of the curve, I think this is something you really need to pay some attention to and uh, learn more if you're not very familiar with it. Uh, but what I found this last year in, in all of my travels uh, was so many different vendors that had the onesie twosie pieces of communication. And I was really excited to come across a company that had all the pieces together. We had uh, not only a phone system that was smart and capable, but something that integrated with your electronic health records and the ability on your cell phone to have apps that give you connectivity to so many parts of your practice uh, at, uh, at, at just uh, pulling the phone out of your pocket and being able to access it. But uh, as I said, uh, it was a company that uh, brought these products together and that's Weave. And Weave is really a great patient communication tool in the practice I've been associated with. They have been using the uh, system for a little over two years and it's been uh, exciting to see how many impacts it's had. When you ask the question, what is Weave? Well, Weave is really a, a complete business toolbox. 
And when you look at that, um, uh, it, it's kind of a one-stop shop for so many tools that you can find all in one place. And just to give you an idea, uh, Weave has actually been in business for over eight years, going on eight years, have 20,000 users originated in the dental space, uh, but uh, have expanded. Optometry is notable in theirs. Podiatry, physical therapy or two. Podiatry has really grown, been involved for about three years with that. But it, it has the ability to impact with your phone systems, your scheduling, analytics, message, uh, payment systems, marketing, just so many different places that it can come in and, and do it. So it really does provide with the, so many of those resources. And as I suggested, it's something that can even replace your phone systems. There's a piece of your expense that are gone right there when you start looking at the cost return on your investment, the ability to get rid of your phones with the new uh, voice over IP phones and how much that can do. But I want to share with you four areas that are I consider your ROI, your return on investment. So as you look at bringing a tool into the office, there's a cost associated with it. We know that every time we walk into a vendor's hall, that's what makes it sometimes intimidating because you wonder what's going to happen to your wallet. But there's so many great pieces in that exhibit hall that can make your practice better. And I've always said, again, if you make patient care first, everything else takes care of itself. And there are so many tools that, that are out there that can make patient care better. But when you can find things that also reduce your costs of doing business or return themselves with the costs. And, and this first one I want to talk about is missed calls. Now, three quarters of the people are likely uh, are very likely have chosen another business uh, after a negative phone experience. And you can't have a good phone experience if you don't have a phone experience or make a connection. And those missing calls are inevitable, whether it's during the office hours or afterwards. It's intriguing. Uh, three, uh, Thirty-four percent of people say that uh, when they when they don't get a, a, re, uh, a return call, um, that that it really changes their whole experience. Now, three two thirds of the patients or potential new patients don't leave voicemail. You think about you when you call into an office or you call someplace, and if you don't get uh, if somebody picking up right now, how often do you really leave a voicemail? And then the other challenge is, uh, will also when the staff, you know, when will the staff call them back? And you want to make sure the patients in the office are getting the attention. So from that perspective, trying to give them the best experience. So the challenge comes with these missed calls and how do you handle them? Well, there is a program out there, a tool that you can put in your toolbox called missed call texting. And you never miss a call from a patient or potential customer. You can you can customize the message that they'll receive back, but it's a great way to help increase the accessibility with these texting via this missed call text uh, system that's set up. So what's interesting when you look at texting and how significant it is in our in our world, nine out of ten customers prefer texting, and and nearly 100% open rate. Now, obviously, the demographic is different, too, based on the age of your population, how accepted texting is. But you'll find that uh, there, a survey that was done showed 68% of medical practices anticipate in the next three years increasing their amount of texting uh, significantly, that it becomes a, a preferred method. And, and the thing that's exciting is to see that open rate that, that it does uh, occur. But what you have a chance to do is catch these missed calls before they go somewhere else. So in this example, uh, a call comes into the office, the call is missed, and an automated text is sent out. You can populate what the message is, but this is Dr. Smith's office. Sorry we missed your call. How can we help you? So before they've had a chance to go to the next practice on the search engine, uh, you have actually responded. They haven't left a message. But before they engage in any other, they share what their problem is, and you have a chance to respond to it. It might be, you know, I, I have a sprained ankle. I'm wondering if I can get in right away. And you can see that you've got an opening that you've allowed for some emergency patients to be accessed or something that maybe just canceled and facilitate that all really s simply in a, in a text. But when you've got a patient right there in your office in front of you, uh, you still have that ability with the automated message that's gone out to them that you've engaged that conversation before they went searching for somewhere else. So that's a that's a feature that I think is a, a really powerful one. And as I say, it's customizable. So you can enable it so that the missed call text, what the message goes out, you can put it uh, one message that goes during office hours uh, with the sorry we missed your call, how can we help you, or something that you automate for your 
after hours and what your message is there when calls come in. But you have the ability to customize and optimize. And that's the exciting thing about the, some of these tools is looking at how customizable they are to your practice. Another ROI thing that I look at some of these tools is reviews. And that, that first statement, don't let a compliment go to waste. Uh, you think about how many patients come out of our practices, and that's the wonderful thing about podiatry, I think we've all enjoyed, is the satisfaction that patients have feeling better almost after every office visit. And at that point, to be able to ask for their reviews and ask for a specific review and, and, and realize that it's something that you can be able to really help direct and to be able to track. Uh, a study came out uh, a little year and a half ago that was published in a health uh, leaders magazine, but it indicated that three quarters of patients shop today online to try and get information about their health care providers and where they're going to go. And of those, 70 percent of all patients call online reviews either crucial uh, or uh, um, they, they refer to it as uh, very important or extremely important. So really it is crucial in selecting the healthcare providers. And that's a significant response that you can't annoy, ignore. It used to be that so many patients came via uh, just a referral basis, but today in word of mouth, if you wanna be one of those hustlers, reviews needs to be a part of what you do. So what will happen is you can see on this left-hand side, some of these icons, when a patient comes to the front desk, you can help track this and, and guide this whole process. But, but with the icon, you hit the review button. It, it'll populate the ability for you to put that patient's name. You can say, how was your experience today? And immediately send them a, a text message. That message will come to them. Let me go to this next screen and share. So here, as that text goes over, thanks for choosing. We've, well, uh, you know, thanks for coming to our office. And you, you've populated, once you've gotten them to agree to accept the text message, you've populated it and it's just two clicks. You send that to them before they leave the office while they're still at the front desk. We just sent, would you mind writing a review today? You know, first of all, make sure that that had a good experience. <laughs> and and then from there, if if they're willing to write a review, say, I just sent you a text. You wanna just pull your phone out and see if you got it. As they take that and open that up, that link will take them uh, wherever they choose to post it, whether it be a Google or Yelp, Facebook. And and it, it's just a simple process. And I think most people are willing to write a review for us but life happens once they leave. And so if you make it super simple, couple of clicks, it's so much more apt to get done. But a great way that it can be able to enhance and, and uh, make those referrals be able to, or the reviews come. And what's so wonderful is, is the uh, volume of reviews that you can see. Another thing that you have the ability to do with some of the tools that exist is to see the number of reviews that have come through. And it's amazing when you look at who's on that front page of the search engine and how easy you can climb up there if you're getting all organic reviews coming consistently out of your practice. I think you'll be shocked with something that makes it simple, how, how many reviews can start to come your way and get you so that you're optimized on that search engine. When we look at another tool uh, on, on uh, the ROI that I really love is this quick fill list. Now we all have patients that want to get into the practice sooner. Somebody that if an opening comes, please let us know. But there's a variety of different ways that we maybe try and handle it. But I think you all realize how annoying that becomes for your staff when they have to make a phone call, person doesn't answer, you have to go to the next one, try and do it. It just becomes laborious. Here with this quick fill, you've got a list of people that are anxious to get in more, get in sooner. You can have some delineation as to what their issue is. And if you have an opening that comes up, Mrs. Jones cancels her Thursday afternoon at two o'clock, that is lost money if you don't fill that time slot. So to avoid those openings, you can do a simple click. You can have your staff just click on the first three or however you choose to do it. But the process that lets you then send that out to some of those people saying we have an opening at two, let us know, we'll fill it uh, as, as you respond to us and, and let us know if that works for you. But it's a very simple way to make sure that that slot doesn't have to go empty. Um, the other thing that's nice with that, that quick fill, as I say, is the customizability, depending on what type of an opening you have uh, and how many patients you wanna send that out to. But it's another great ROI so that you're keeping patients flowing into your practice, keeping your office uh, as maximally profitable as possible. Another ROI is this concept of touchless payments. Boy, in the day of COVID, uh, 
this text to pay has become popular, but you think about just the, the tap pay that you can do with your, with your credit cards versus having to get, go, you look at one place that everybody is touching is the contact associated around those credit card readers, even if it's, you know, whether it's a slider or putting it in with a chip reader, but to have some type of a touchless payment system, 70% uh, of the people uh, um, that have been surveyed have really requested touchless payment systems. And this text to pay is an intriguing way. Uh, when you've got that hard patient that's been really recalcitrant, dragging on with the bill, you know that an, an outstanding bill is something that's always between you and your best patient care. And for whatever reason, but they avoid you like the plague when a phone call is attempted, they stay away with the emails, the letters, they haven't. But it's intriguing to see what kind of responses we've been able to get with this text to pay. It's a simple, painless thing. They don't have to engage with you. You send them and, and you can see this list here. But when you uh, have the ability to track it, you can see what when it was created, when it was paid, if it's still unpaid. But it's a it's a great tool, again, to consider. But get that revenue stream coming. Lots of other features that are out there and different tools. Uh, but with phone reports, goodness sakes, to be able to look at your call volumes, the missed calls that came in, inbound calls, outbound calls. What's exciting about that is you can see the time of day, the time of week, the time of month. And, and from that perspective, with some of these analytics, it really allows you to best utilize your staff. I can see if that Monday morning slot really is heavy from nine to 11 with some of those weekend calls that are coming in, but you don't know, you can guess that, but once you see it in, in, in an analytical form and you can really track it, you can be able to address it. What's exciting with the voice over IP systems too, if you see that that Monday has a really high call volume, you have no place to put one more person on that front desk though, to answer calls that are coming in, but you have somebody that is working for you in a remote setting. They can be, as though that they were picking up a phone call right from your office and it will never be missed. They can have the same uh, powerful screens associated with your EHR, with your schedule and your other tools right there. And from an offsite standpoint, you can hire somebody that's working three hours on that heavy time when you need it, but it's somebody you don't have to have in the office and allow that remote ability. So lots of intriguing ways that you can think smarter and, and use that. You can look at other practice analytics with your schedule volumes, looking at the, uh, days of the week and, and volume of patients, uh, again, text to pay, but any of your metrics that you have inside the system, there's great trackability. Another PM uh, quiz that went out there asking about phones. And, and when you send out reminders to patients, you can see that overwhelming amount of uh, phone messaging. That is a laborious task for your staff. Uh, interesting statistic, a little over 50% of people don't answer the phone when they see it's coming from the medical office. Don't know why but that's what the stats show. But it's interesting to see down here, the other methods, email, text. Well, again on that, uh, if you wanna be that one that hustles, to look at something that's up and coming, as I said, in the next three years, people are anticipating a much greater portion of their communications are really gonna be by that text. And this has been a very effective way. I've seen that happen both in practices, uh, my dentist, in medical practices too. But this is a, certainly a, a, a way that you can utilize to access uh, increased volumes. And so from the standpoint of the scheduling, the ability that exists uh, with that, it's nice to be able to see how that can interact. It can send out depending on your EHR and your softwares. Um, and, and there's other questions that come along, but, but certainly with those appointments, uh, the reminders, there's a very easy way they can populate and send those appointment reminders. From a schedule standpoint, though, it's something with your app on your phone, you can check that from virtually anywhere. Uh, you have the ability to send out uh, birthday notes. Um, there's just so many other ways that you can be able to use this patient database. Another uh, feature that is available is something referred to as uh, team chat, but the connectivity to keep everyone on the same page, keep, get information communicated in, in a very simple, efficient ways. You can have uh, the, the ability to build that, whether it's your back office or whether it's your front office, um, just take that you know, connectivity and the communication uh, at, a, at a whole different level. And this is uh, just an example showing how you can be able to help set that up and organize it as you choose to with whatever messaging that might be helpful. But as a practitioner, to be able to pull a phone out of your pocket, 
to have that smartphone app that's there. The tools are in your hand anywhere. You can check your schedule for the next day. You can look forward at different things you want. You can simply do some analytics when you have a minute that you want to take a peek at it. An intriguing thing is after hours. Uh, for example, when uh, you've got to give a call, it, it will look as though that call is coming from your office. They won't even know that this is your cell phone or have that cell phone number. But again, it will look as though it's from the office. Uh, another thing that's uh, an exciting feature is the recordability of the calls. And it's something that, uh, uh, for example, on that after hours call that comes through, you can verify that the instructions were given, uh, that the call was answered. Uh, the, the prescription was sent. It's also when you get back to the office, an opportunity to kind of go back and if you needed to refresh and, and make notes of what you've done. But uh, there, there's just some great abilities to have that. But what I love is the fact that uh, there are places where there are so many tools out there to utilize, uh, but to have one stop that can have so many in that singular place, it's been surprising as I've talked to a number of doctors that have come on board and used this all-encompassing tool. I've been able to get rid of some of the other uh, features that they've been using with different vendors and, and eliminate a, a number of costs, just putting them all in one place. So uh, nice to share with you some of the things that I found in my practice that have been really helpful. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, there's so many good tools out there. One of the things that I would tell you is to take opportunity uh, to uh, do a demo. Kevin, you maybe want to jump in and just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so coming up here, or actually now live in January, we're offering a special just for doing a demo, you get a $50 Amazon gift card. So if you're curious about it, just try it out. Um, just go to this go to this link here, weavepartners.com slash Taylor Tuesday, and register for a demo, you'll get a $50 uh, Amazon gift card. And yeah, you'll be able to see see what it's about. It's a customized demo. So tell our uh, tell our team about your business in particular, your challenges in particular. You know, we've made Weave to be flexible to your practice, flexible to your mm -hmm. needs. So please, you know, please let us know what challenges you face, um, you know, what your staff looks like, and they'll give you a, a complete customized demo. I always say talk is painless. And uh, to to be able to do the demo, one of the things that's important, what happens is with us as docs, we're in the back jamming and seeing patients. That's what we do. But, but so many of these things I've expressed and talked about, it's really your staff, your office that will love what's out there to see how much it can uh, minimize some of the redundant tasks, how much it can make them so much more effective at who they are and what they try and do in rendering the, the best pieces of their parts of the practice. But to actually have some staff to you. So as you schedule a demo, not <clears> something <throat> just the doc uh, have a chance to see, but you've got some key staff, an office manager, somebody like that, that, that can sit with you what will happen is the light bulb moments for them. As I say, sometimes us in the back jamming, we don't appreciate how much of a, a hindrance or a challenge this is. And for them to see a feature that I think they can see immediate application and uh, it's, it's fun to see their excitement, so. Well, and no. really, sorry to address uh, Stuart's question there. So Stuart, um, it depends on the EMR, um, but Weave integrates directly with a lot of a lot of systems, a lot of EMRs, a lot of the practice uh, practice management softwares you might be using. Um, so when you go through the demo, you can talk to our team about that. And yeah, depending mm -hmm. on it, and we're always adding integrations. In fact, this year in particular, very aggressively adding more and more integrations to the software you're already using. Um, and then also to uh, Bunyan King, uh, appreciate the the name there. Um, yeah. So it will work without without um, EHR. Uh, some of the functionality will be different, but again, it's a it's a flexible system. Um, so yeah, there's different features will will be on and off depending on what other systems you you might be using. Um, George, I'm not sure about practice. Did you go through the questions? Why don't you just state what the question is too? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. No worries. So yeah, sorry, Bunyan King had asked if it will work with uh, right. with EHR or without EHR. Um, and, and again, that's, uh, it will, so yes, it will work. It will work without that. Um, it'll depend, you know, the, some of the functionality will change, but a lot of the features will uh, still be active. You can do a manual uh, <clears throat> upload of, of uh, patient data into the system if you need to. Uh, TrackNet, yes. Um, yeah, TrackNet is one, sorry. Uh, Jerome asked about if uh, TrackNet does. 
yeah. if we integrate with TrackNet and we do. And the interesting thing too, um, the ability to take a CSV card, correct, Kevin, and, yep. and, and take information, you know, depending on whatever EHR you have and still be able to uh, interface so much of that information. Some, you know, goes more seamlessly with fully integrated systems, but, uh, and the thing that I find exciting about Weave is their willingness to um, engineer and evolve. If you look at 20,000 users in a variety of different spaces, what's fun is to be on the cutting edge with podiatry right now. And as they come to know us better and who we are and see more and more of some of the specific needs that we might have or want in our practices, there's engineering team that are willing to take and look and uh, and make some evolution. So it's, it's uh, pretty, pretty fun. As I say, for me, they're just uh, down the street, just south of Salt Lake, uh, so in my backyard, basically, and and I've had a chance to be more proximate, being at the headquarters and see what the team does, and it's an exciting product to see. Go ahead with other questions, maybe. Yeah, so there's a couple more questions here coming through about different uh, different other softwares. Next Gen, I mentioned TrackNet, and actually, with uh, I'll, I'll say really quickly with, with TrackNet, so we do already integrate with TrackNet. We actually have a release in about a week of even more expanded functionality with TrackNet. Um, so Practice Fusion, Next Gen, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, next, I'll bring that question. Next Gen is, I'm not, I'm not positive the exact point, but I know they've had uh, you know, some some deep conversations or, or I think you know attempts to make integration there, so for sure. Yeah, thank you, Dr. <clears throat> Edward. So yeah, ask our team about these different ones and um, and we'll be able to tell you for sure. And I've got a few questions for you guys. So um, I, I always have a lot of questions and I like Ira, to read some of them. Ira, on questions, I'll answer the hard ones and I'll let Kevin answer the easy ones. Okay, and we'll make I it just, easy. I just get to decide which is which. Oh, I, and, and that's okay. I, I feel the same way. Yeah. Um, uh, so when I was, when, when, you know, one of the things I was intrigued about and uh, you've talked about it, having the different modalities. Um, you, I, I believe, if I'm correct from what I understand, you can actually purchase Weave in like modules. Like if you just want to use reputation management to get started, you don't have to roll out with everything. Is that is that correct? Can you can you pick and choose what you want to implement um, and not do the whole suite at the same time? That's correct. Yep, we have a few a few different levels and. Uh, part of it will depend, again, on what other systems you're using. Part of it will depend on just the features that you want. So if you want to get started just with, um, you know, communications tools with your with your patients and, and prospective patients, um, there's some there's some options for that. So, yeah, there is a way to get, you know, to get started with just a couple uh, a couple core features that you want. Um, but usually with, you know, we see most mm -hmm. most people, most uh, practices are taking advantage of, of, of quite a few of our um, features right away. Okay, we've got a question from Sam Cox. Um, you know, he apparently he looked at Weave before, and uh, David, he said that you uh, made it seem like a no-brainer. Um, but one of the issues that he had when he had spoken with um, with Weave was that uh, they wanted him to replace all of the phones with the exact same phones that he had just purchased. Uh, so it seemed kind of redundant to have to replace them with the exact same model. Um, can, is there any way we can explain why that's required or is that still the same process or how does that work? So I'll say that that does sound a little odd to me. Um, Samuel, I'll follow up on, on your account in particular and see what's going on there and, and, and I'll follow up with you. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be, that, that strikes me as very odd. So there may have been some kind of miscommunication on, on our side. Um, but yeah, it, it, as I mean, typically we we do replace the phones because we find most practices don't have the necessary phones for our for our system. Um, but aside from you know, unless there was there was an assessment um, incorrectly made by my team, um, but I'll follow up on that on that Samuel. But that that sounds very irregular. Kevin, on on a follow up for that, I guess one of the questions that I have is what happens with a practice that's already got a long term contract with a VoIP system. They signed a contract with Cisco or whoever they're working with, and now they see the Weave technology and they want to implement it into their practice, but they have a pre-existing contract. Are there, are there ways to get out of it? Does Weave help you uh, put yourself in a situation, or will Weave allow you to use the existing phone system that you may have leased or purchased? So you can use your existing phone system. Um, it may impact some of the functionality with 
uh, with Weave. So again, it'll kind of depend on the situation and what you're looking to do. Um, there may be an opportunity to for us to work some things out uh, with your current contract um, or to provide some incentives or yeah, we'll, we're, we can be flexible with that. So that's a great thing to bring up. If you're, if you're doing a demo with my team, chat with them about that. Um, Cause yeah, we, there's some flexibility there. Well, Sam just said he's good to move forward if we can get that done. So see Taylor Tuesday, that's why you come out here to, to see what's going on. Um, you know, Dave, you know, you and I both, um, you know, we, we've, we, we both talked about the, the tremendous burdens and changes that happened in, you know, 2020 and everything that's going on. Um, I, I mean, are there any technology tools that you've seen utilized um, more now with these challenging times that we've had in 2020? Um, any comments on that? Yeah, as I, as I say, the uh, texting ability and, and, and certainly people can can text without, you know, an integration in the system, but, but just sim simply people in you know, cars, you know, when you pull up to an mm -hmm. office to text and let them know that you're there and they'll let you know, I mean, from a waiting room perspective, how busy is the waiting room? Are you ready? Just make sure patients are boarded and brought in and more effectively. So texting certainly is something we've used from the weave standpoint uh, that pay to text has been something that, that a lot of people have really appreciated. Just made it a pretty simple, easy uh, way of a, you know, uh, non-contact transaction too. So that's one that people have uh, kind of utilized and appreciated. On the pay to text module, is that something that like a lot of EHRs on, I know somebody mentioned eClinical Works, uh, we use eClinical Works and I know a lot of people use Athena and a lot of these programs have their own um, um, payment module where the, you know, when you use a credit card or do something, the payment posts actually, you know, onto the patient account. Does Weave interface with that type of technology um, or is it a completely different system for the text by payment? Yeah, so you can use, in that situation, if you already have a, a system that will do text to pay, you'd really just have the option to use that existing system or you can use, or you can use Weave's text to pay system. So you'll kind of have that, you would have access to both, both functionalities. So, so you can use both functionalities then Kevin. So that, that, so that gives people flexibility uh, that, you know, when they want to use their, uh, if they're in the office and patients are paying by credit card, they can use that system. But if they want to use the Weave text to pay module, they can, they can use both, both products. Yep, correct. So when you, you know, when you uh, get started with Weave and you already have um, other software for different things, Weave won't, it won't turn off the functionality of your other, of your other software. But we typically find that most practices will just end up using Weave for any of the overlap features. So we have a, we have a, we have a question from uh, uh, Dr. Leff. Um, he has, uh, wants to know about a house call practice only, uh, Dave, you know, uh, no office, no staff, just the doc his cell phone and his car is weave good for helping to streamline somebody who's in a practice like that or in that practice situation. You know, it's intriguing to think about, uh, you know, some of the still communications you have to have, how do you schedule your appointments? You know, are you doing just the old hard book or do you have a software system, you know, with your billing, you know, that still needs to occur, uh, you know, uh, re reminders or rechecks. So there's, there's certainly possibilities that it might be a, you know, because there's continues to be parts of that. I mean, very frankly, I, I've gone, you mentioned the practice. I was once in a 15 doctor orthopedic group, uh, uh, not in that group any longer, but right now I'm doing some consulting in chronic healthcare management, uh, diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular, but still see patients on a limited basis with my uh, uh, assisted care facilities and, and diabetic at risk. So I see patients a half a day a week in my office and, and continue to utilize these systems to help that. And then what I see in the assisted cares is kind of the same thing. And, and so, yeah, I, I, I found it still effective even in less than a robust practice. And, and Kevin, I believe it's a mobile module, correct? Where you can have a phone set up somewhere, but um, if you're going from, um, a house call or to um, uh, 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 elder facilities that you can have everything really function on your phone from the standpoint of making your schedule, seeing everything that's going on. So 
there, there, it's just a completely mobile module, isn't there? Correct. Yep. So there's a, there's a mobile app. In fact, um, Dr. Left, that's, um, as someone who's not, not a doctor, um, as I show people the product, I don't have a, I don't have a physical desk phone. Um, so I use the, you know, the regular application like everybody else does. I use the, the mobile app. So you can absolutely, uh, use it without having, you know, a, a facility somewhere or a regular desk phone somewhere you can operate it. Yeah. Complete, j- the situation you described, it would absolutely, uh, work for you, work for you. One thing is kind of interesting when you look at the uh, um, kind of unlimited lines that the voice over IP provides you is you can do some intriguing things. You can have a marketing campaign where you uh, have one line that's 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 tied to that line, uh, that that campaign. And so as you've made that marketing campaign push, everything that responds back through, you can track just with that singular line. So you can see the success of some other things as you're trying to do, too. It's it's kind of fun to look at some of the creative ways that these different technologies can kind of play into reaching new demographics. Kevin, just out of curiosity, um, are there any limitations on the implementation of Weave? Is there um, practice size if they have uh, multiple different settings? You know, you know, for example, my group has five surgery centers, uh, two pathology labs, um, a clinical trial center, you know, 60 clinics. I mean, are there limitations and, or, or, or um, impediments to implement Weave in a, in a, in a larger practice uh, over a medium or small size practice? Yeah, so we do have a uh, multi-office functionality is what we call it. So you can have Weave set up through all of your different offices. Um, that's one of the areas where we're really rapidly expanding this year in particular. Um, now, when you get up to a certain size of, um, if you're, you know, for example, here in Utah, we have Intermountain Healthcare is a large hospital network, and I, I believe it's in California and some other places as well. Um, so really, really large organizations like that, um, their, their systems right now don't fully integrate with, with what we do. Um, but for most medium to small practices, um, multi-office functionality is something that you can use. Other limitations, like I mentioned, it, it may, we have a premium, um, what we call our premium and our core offering. Premium has every single feature, ties in with your other system. So it will depend on, on if we can fully integrate with, with the other systems you have. So if we can't fully integrate with other systems, and there may, there may be some aspects of, of Weave solutions that are um, limited. Um, but yeah, aside from those things, there really aren't uh, aren't any other limitations. So as long as you have uh, an internet connection, <laughs> we can move you over to a a vo- voice over IP system, um, and we provide uh, we have the the phones um, that we can provide as well. Um, so yeah, those are really the only limitations that that come to mind. Yeah, and that's what Kevin pointed out is you know internet. I mean, and they'll come in and do some testing and make sure that you've got good strength and capabilities. But uh, obviously, that's uh, you know basic given. You, you were thinking just about what I was thinking, Dave, because I, I, I'm, I'm, I say I'm technologically challenged, but I've seen the wiring in the offices go from cat fours to cat fives to cat six. And, you know, do you have a gig of RAM? You know, what, what's your speed? And so I, I'm assuming that, you know, depending on what your serviceability is in your location, that may also be uh, something that could either hinder or help yep. the situation. Yep. Okay, um, so I, I'm curious because I know in my practice we are getting a lot of IT education on phishing and hacks and a variety of different things that go on when we use technology. Um, how is Weave as far as um, uh, do you see any? Is it is it are there technology hacks that happen or things that could go on? Uh, with the utilization of this type of software? So I am not aware of any hacks that ever happened with Weave. Um, in a lot of cases, it's mo- most things are going to ha- happen local within your within your own system. Um, Weave is set up to be HIPAA compliant. Um, so yeah, I haven't come across any, you know, any hacks or ha- had anything like that uh, reported to me. Awesome. Um, so Dave, 
you talked about a lot of different features that Weave has, and 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 Kevin indicated that you could implement them in modules, and you don't have to do, I guess, the premium package all at once. Um, what, what in general with Weave or any other tech tools would you recommend that a practice should start with? Well, one of the things personally, I I think that I'm most excited about is that uh, missed call text, because to realize about a third of your calls are going to be missed, even in the best practices. And I just know in my office, a challenge in the midst of what a day really entails for anybody to take a call that's been missed. And if, if a voicemail was left to get to that, yeah, hopefully over a lunch possibly, but that doesn't always happen either. And to think that there's that instantaneous connect that somebody actually got a response with that missed call, because as I expressed, I tend not to leave a voicemail and I don't know if you do Ira, but, I think most people just tend not, and, and so that's just a, a missed opportunity. Now, it's an existing patient. Although you haven't serviced their needs the best you maybe could, uh, they're, they're going to stay there. They're in, your, they're, they're in your midst. But those new patients, that's just revenue that's walking down the road. I mean, when you're going to the next one on the search engine, and, and so I think that missed call text is one that I really am excited about uh, some of the abilities for it to be a benefit to really access patients, get them in the practice. You might have said something, and I, I don't know. <clears throat> With all the features that um, Weave has, is there a ability for a patient to view the practice's schedule and actually make their own appointment and see what availability is? And if not, is that something that may be on the future horizon? So okay. we have a number of really smart um, scheduling tools. Um, so yeah, you can provide, you can provide scheduling options. It doesn't, it doesn't provide a full, um, a full calendar like that. Um, but we do have some really, really smart scheduling tools and we're always making it, uh, always making it smarter. So, um, you know, from text using, utilizing text, be able to do some different scheduling things. Um, but it's really made to streamline scheduling and make it really simple and, and even to being able to do it without making a phone call. Great. Well, I've got one last question, um, and then um, I'll, I'll wrap things up for us. Unless you guys and give you guys a chance to make some closing comments. You know, um, I, I think it was interesting prior to starting the conversation. Um, uh, Dave and myself and Mike King were talking a little bit about. They were talking about their kids. I was listening, and they were talking about how. Um, with COVID, things have changed and um, they've done very, very well. They've seen rapid growth in their respective jobs and they've received raises. Um, you know, from a technology standpoint, I do know that there have been practices um, that have come out better and stronger um, than they were prior to COVID. You know, I know that people took time to streamline their policies and procedures um, and they looked at um, uh, different ways to um, uh, provide better care for their patients and get better outcomes. Um, are there some technology things, not just Weave alone, because I know you're in the tech space, are there things that um, practices that have done well and thrived in 2020 um, have been utilizing that maybe even work in complement to Weave or something? That's a great, great question. I, I think it's going to take a little more distillation. I look forward to uh, kind of picking the brains of some of those that have seen, you know, great strides. And, and you learn from those that have had, you know, frustrations. But it, it's a time uh, uh, when, when a lot of analyzing needs to happen. And sometimes just, just taking that a minute to slow down, which, we've, uh, which COVID has very much forced us to do, uh, gives you a chance to kind of look at and analyze. But uh, you know, great, great thoughts. And uh, I don't have a you know, great answer to that. I don't know if you have any thoughts, Kevin, but I think I'm excited to hear more and more from people, you know, with the pluses and minuses, how they've kind of navigated through. The real key is going to be, though, who, who's adaptable? Are, are, are you the big cruise ship that can't hardly turn or are you a little speedboat that's nimble enough to make changes? And, and that's going to be the keys to success going forward, people that are willing to be adaptable. And it doesn't matter your age and practice, uh, but it's the time in which we live. The the world is a moving, and and as I put in that first slide, you know those those who hustle, 
it's whatever they left over. That's, that's, you know, what comes to those who wait. So being willing to hustle, Kevin, any thoughts? Yeah. So, and, and my, my purview is, is going to be, um, you know, affected by really companies that are working with weave and, and companies that we've chatted with, but across a number of different spaces between podiatry, physical therapy, uh, dental optometry. And one of the big things that we see in terms of, in terms of tech and in terms of practices that were able to thrive and grow in 2020 was that adaptability that Dr. Edwards mentioned and, and really leveraging the technology that's there. And even in a lot of cases is, is much easier to, to adopt than people think, you know, some of the, a lot of these text, text type features, um, you know, Weave isn't the only provider of some of these, of some of these solutions. And we've, we've seen a lot of people use a lot of different things, but you know, lots of text type features, um, the ability for your staff to work remote and have access to, um, you know, all the tool, all the tools that they need. I just went to uh, the dentist a week ago and um, the receptionist was raving to me about, um, you know, how, how a new dentist that came into the office was going to, was looking to change their system. They were actually using Weave coincidentally. Um, and she was like, no, we can't, I need all of these, you know, features. And she loved the ability to respond to messages at home. And, um, you know, especially with, you know, with the pandemic and, and people needing to work remote and having that flexibility. Um, so, and, and again, it's not just, not just weave, there's, there's other solutions, but being able to find, find ways to help your staff be better and have more flexibility and being able to do their job from really, really anywhere. Um, that's been one of the biggest things that we've, we've seen. You know, I, as, as I was listening, I had one last question come to thought and, um, you know, the lifeblood of our practices is the phones appointments. And I guess I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, can you tell us a little bit, Kevin, what is the transition process? How do we make sure that there's no interruption in what I would consider the lifeblood of my practice as we are getting ready to implement something like this? This would be, for me, a very huge venture, and it would be something that I would be very nervous about. So how would Weave make me feel comfortable, and how does, how does the transition plan work? Yeah, so it's actually really simple because if you're, if you're using the full system and you're swapping out, uh, your phones for our for our phones directly. We just swap those out. Um, usually, you can keep the same phone number. And one of the great things about it, and Dr. Edwards mentioned this, was the um, call to text. So right away, one of the first things you'd want to implement and get set up <clears throat> is the ability that if if you miss any phone calls, your system, uh, the Weave system, will automatically send a text to that uh, to that patient or to that prospective patient. Um, so yeah, I mean, in in terms of transition we really it's it's really pretty seamless because of the core functionality of the things that you need um those are the things that happen right away the other things uh, are just things that you need to get set up in the system uh, in the system yourself um you know between what automated messages you want to go out but you know as soon as we as soon as we have the system implemented um and if you're you know once you have the phones installed and you can start going right away and, and have that that assurity um, that you won't be missing, you know, you won't be missing communications. And in fact, right away, your ability to, to stay in contact with patients will be enhanced. Great. Well, listen, I, I, I really want to thank both of you for coming on and joining us tonight. And I, I really appreciate uh, the partnership that we've has with Taylor. Um, I believe oh, we've got one more question and it's from one of my classmates. So I have to answer the question. Dr. Maddie Barkoff a man, a myth, a living legend in my mind. Um, he's got two offices with two numbers. I do not want to change any office numbers. Uh, I know, I think he's probably asking that, Kevin, because you made the comment that most of the time you could keep your number. Um, most of us who've been in practice, like that's my classmate, so I know he's been in practice for 30, 30 years. There's no way he would want to change his number. Is, is that something that he would have to be concerned about? Uh, probably not. So, you know, as, as long as we can switch over to the voice over IP system and, um, you know, he shouldn't have to change his, shouldn't have to change his phone numbers. We need to use our, our multi-office system. Um, but that's something that, that my team could go over with you and, and get figured out really quickly. But, um, yeah, barring any, any surprises, I don't believe you'd have to change your numbers. Perfect. Well, 
again, I, I just, what I loved when I, when Dave introduced me to Weave um, is the fact that Weave prides itself on um, education and helping to have practices grow. Um, yes, they're a business like anybody else and, and, and they would love you to use their system, um, but I, but I like the mindset behind it um, with regards to education and growth. Um, so uh, I'm going to tell you all that um, uh, contact weavepartners.com backslash Taylor Tuesday. Um, get a demo, get a get a fifty dollar Amazon card. Um, you may find out that um, you're going to make your practice better. Another another way that you can come out of COVID, and that's kind of what we're hoping to do is help make your practices better. Um, we really appreciate the loyal people that have come out and watched. It's nice to see um, 30 to 40 core people that come out every week to listen, every other week to listen to what we have to say. Um, pretty excited. Um, uh, next, next Taylor Tuesday is actually on my birthday. Uh, I may, I may actually have to excuse myself, but since it's Steve um, from SureFit on there, I'll probably have to work. Um, but anyway, we're, we, we, we really are excited about our, our call in two weeks. Um, SureFit has been a longstanding partner of Taylor Medical. Um, they've been a, a great vendor to work with. Um, diabetic shoes, DME, off-the-shelf custom. Uh, they've, they've just been a wonderful team to work with, and I'm looking forward to having them um, on our presentation next week. Dave, do you have any closing comments that you'd like to make before we tell everybody good night? No, just wish everyone a happy new year and have a blessed uh, 2021. It's Kevin, would you do you have any comments you'd like to tell everybody? I know you posted your uh, email address for people to reach you. And um, any other comments you have for our, our members tonight? Uh, just thank you so much for uh, for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity to get in front of, of so many great podiatrists. And again, feel free to contact me directly with questions and and take advantage of that that promo we have. You can get just for doing the demo, fifty dollar uh, Amazon gift card. Well. Uh, in closing, I'd like to tell everybody, if you haven't um, shopped at Taylor, um, we don't charge anything to join. We'll do a free cost analysis. Um, we are here to help make your practices better. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to tell everybody to have a great evening. And I'm going to go back and look at the mountains. And uh, now that I live in Dave's country, and uh, we'll see you all in two weeks. Have a wonderful day. Good night. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.